Today, we're excited to provide you with more depth and control in your photos with Virtual Aperture, which uses advanced software to deliver an experience once exclusive to professional cameras. Happy Valentine's Day, if that's your thing, and I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about something that I think is important, or at least it's worth checking, besides all the gimmicky things that you can do with these phones like um, AI avatars and things that pretty much nobody gives a yeah, shit. I'm going to talk about virtual aperture. This is something that was introduced for the S25 Ultra in One UI 7. Now you can see this is a shot with a very, very nice, fantastic bokeh. And when I scroll down to check the info, we can see that, yeah, this shot has been produced with using the main camera, but it's shot with the virtual aperture. And it's also a raw picture, which means that I can use tools like Lightroom to just go and try to correct the exposure. And I can really go and do crazy things with this. Now, I'm not claiming that Samsung has the best camera, but you can just see what we can do with raw. I'm not sure if this is even visible so much, but but the thing is that with the virtual aperture, we just get another instrument that we can use to play with. And it isn't bad at all. Let me show you what I mean. And yes, we're gonna be using these very beautiful tulip flowers to illustrate my point and to check. But first things first, how the heck do we access this? So we need to go inside the camera, then we need to scroll down to more and inside you're gonna get this menu. Now, besides the fact that we can shoot lock and this is something that is cool. Now, we've been able to do this since years with using motion camera or MC 24 FPS, but now it's stock for Samsung. You can check my 8K 30 FPS log video color graded with the loot that Samsung provided. This is a whole other story. Now let's go back to more. There's gonna be something called the expert role. Some people love this still, some don't, but the thing is we have options there. Now when you click on this thing here, this is gonna be actually the so-called expert role labs. If I go inside the settings, you're gonna see this gonna be expert role labs. And we see this pattern repeatedly in all the One UI menus, like we have a gallery labs and you know the videos, right? But inside here, guys, there's going to be some new things, which is the virtual aperture and some old things like the um, ND filter, the astrophoto. These things were there before. The Let's focus on the virtual aperture. So you need to just toggle this. And when you go back, guys, now, when you're on your main camera, something is going to appear here. And this is in fact the virtual aperture. Now I'm gonna click the info button, adjusting the focal depend of your pictures, use a higher number to keep both the subject and background in focus, or try a lower number for a sharp subject and a soft blurry background. So let me show you how you can enable it. Now, once it's enabled from the settings, you just go here and then you click on this F here. And there are some caveats with this as well, guys, because let me show you, if I disable the virtual aperture, I can use my ultra wide camera, I can use my wide camera, the main camera, the telephoto camera, the 3x and also the super telephoto camera with the 5x and let's just try to stay on the super telephoto camera. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try to enable it and you see it's going to revert back actually to my main camera. So the thing is virtual aperture only works with the main lens. Now let me demonstrate what you can do with this. So I'm just going to show you now the most extreme scenario. This is gonna be 1.4. The main physical aperture on the main layers is 1.7, guys. Anyway, we can now just do 1.4, and this is crazy, but the maximum aperture is 16. This now here is a shot with the 16, like the biggest aperture. You can see there is no bulk around. And if I just go, guys, and use the lowest one, this is gonna give me a very nice separation between the object on the foreground and what happens on the background. And you can see with me adjusting this, right? You can just really tone this down. You have these half stops here. So we have one, six, one, eight, right? Two, two, two. So we have plenty of options. And the best thing is when you go inside your gallery, let me just try to show you the shot, guys. This is now shot in row. We're gonna need some time for the S25 Ultra to do the pro thing, but now you can see this is a raw picture. And the picture is good, by the way. And when I go down, you can see, right, that I'm using F16, and this is an indication shot with virtual aperture. The next one is gonna be shot with F1.4. Again, shot with the virtual aperture. You can now directly open this pics inside your editing tool that you used to edit raw images. So in my case, uh, this is the Lightroom, and you can really, really do, do crazy stuff with this. I mean, you can really go very artistic if that's your thing and um, you get the power right like with this virtual aperture we have a bit more of a control 
on the bokeh that we can apply. And it's clear that a lot of these things are really software, right? We don't really have that many apertures on the cameras on the back. And it's something that also Apple is trying to do, I guess, with the processing that they have. But I really welcome this add-on from Samsung because I do believe it's quite powerful. Um, now this is just an example, guys, but I can show you when you take this thing to the extreme, you can get really crazy shots with it. And of course, it requires also some experimentation, but take a look at this, guys. This is very beautiful. I was able to blur absolutely everything on the background, but again, it requires some tinkering and some experimentation. Sometimes it's not so good, like uh, in the case here, you can see I'm starting to lose some of the focus, but it's very powerful. So if you do have a Samsung S25 Ultra, if you want to test it, guys, just go inside, enable this, and then be my guest, because with this virtual aperture, you're going to be able to snap some crazy good photos, all right? And specifically on humans, guys, this is where you can gain a lot of the benefits. Um, this is, by the way, now how the bulk is applied in real time. And you can see the separation on the main object from the background with the blur is just crazy. And again, here I'm shooting raw, which means I can go and try to change the highlights uh, or the shadows, or let's say the overexposure of the picture. And I really like this change in Samsung. I think this is a good thing that happened to this phone. So guys, virtual aperture, it's a real thing. We don't know really how useful this can be in real conditions, but from what I see right now, it ain't bad, guys. So it's a new feature, not a lot of people are talking about, but you're here watching this channel. So if you like videos like this, just please go watch some of my other videos. Thank you so much. Stay safe, VST over and bye.